arm action in, in sprinting and upright sprinting and high speed sprinting. The hand blocks with the thumb just above the acromion process. That elbow angle is about 30 degrees, generally. And the elbow is in front of the body mainframe. As an athlete opens and drives the arm down and back, the angle of the elbow opens. If you look at world-class sprinters, when they're at mid-stance, both arms are extended. And then as the arm passes the body, then it blocks, usually with the humerus parallel to the ground and the elbow angle at about 130. So we start teaching arm angulation right from the get-go through a skipping movement. So we want to see you guys block at 30 degrees, thumb, shoulder high, and your back arm's going to be open well off your hip. All right, got the idea? The reason we coach arms a lot, because even though the biomechanical studies say arms aren't all that important, I think they supply weak forces, but I definitely think they control thoracic spine movement. So if you have rigid arms or inefficient arms, you're gonna have mid-thoracic problems. And that's a food chain, it will move down the lumbar, and it will end up in the SI joint, affecting those factors. So we teach arm movement a lot. I realize in rugby, you know, you got a, a ball in one hand, but if you don't know proper arm movement without the ball, you put a ball in your hand, you're gonna have no clue. Right, any questions on arm movement? Thank you